I think the three pillars of my PD time has been advanced degree training, research, and education. For advanced degrees, I completed a master's in epidemiology, and I'm completing a master's in biomedical informatics. For research, my main focus is on reducing what I like to call the database to bedside gap. So we found that every single day, in surgical literature alone, there's almost 400 articles that are published, including 16 randomized control trials. So that's a lot of information that we're being flooded with. But unfortunately, very few articles actually reach the patient bedside. My research involves using different machine learning algorithms to bring evidence to the bedside. So the applications range from uh, computer vision tools that we built into a mobile app to calculate total body surface area burn, into prediction algorithms that use deep learning in the back end. We have a project in natural language processing where we input patient notes and try to extract ICD-10 codes automatically. And for education, um, this is something that's very dear to my heart because everything that I've learned, everything that I know is thanks to really gracious mentors and it's really important that I pay forward what I've learned. Um, so I helped start and teach Surge 238, Introduction to Clinical Research. It's a course that teaches medical students how to translate uh, research activity into productivity. So I'm really thrilled to be a part of this course. Everything was serendipitous. The reason why I started chest wall injury research was because as a second year resident, one of the surgical ICU fellows at the time asked if I wanted to join in on a refractor project. So I said yes, and every project led to more questions than answers. Uh, so I would do a new project and that led me to more questions, on and on and on. Maybe halfway through my second year, I realized that I need to learn more about machine learning, that I need to improve my coding skills. And I wanted to work more with colleagues in the computer science and bioinformatics department. Uh, and I thought the biomedical informatics degree would be a perfect way to make sure I gain the skills that I need for uh, the kind of, to become the kind of academic surgeon I want to be. So I, I approach our program director, Dr. Spain, with why I want to do three years of research and what I would do in that third year, and he was very open to the idea. I think the PD time taught me that my mission is to try and save or better as many patient lives as I can in my career. So I've tried to steer my research and focus uh, every project to make sure I can accomplish this professional mission. Probably the, the two best things I did during research time was one, get married, and second, start a family. So we have a three-month-old girl now. Uh, I felt that it would be nice to, uh, for me to be there uh, for our newborn as much as I can, at least over the newborn's first few months. So you know, I talked to my wife and we thought it would be a perfect time to start raising a family. Um, so that uh, the flexibility that professional time, uh, development time offers certainly was a factor in, in our decision. I'm really excited to go back to the operating room, uh, refine my surgical skills, refine my surgical knowledge, and really excited to see and work with everyone again. But on the other hand, I really love doing research and I really wish I could spend 24 hours a day, seven days a week just doing research. And it's a little bit unfortunate I won't be able to do that moving forward, but uh, from the skills that I've learned during my professional development time, I think I'll be able to continue a career in academic surgery where I want research to be a huge portion of my career.